When Glenn Ballard, Bob Zemeckis, Bob Gale, and I first met, we literally met and had a lunch to talk about the feasibility of something called Back to the Future, the musical. That's the power of love. We constantly looked at the film, and, and it's apparently not very common to score a musical. We always had that in our mind, all four of us. Why can't we do that? We have some of these big moments in the film on stage. We have a 15-piece band in the pit. When you're in a theater and you know those musicians are in that room with you, that brings a whole different dimension. And so score-wise, there are ways we adapted that material to render it as effectively as possible in the live environment. But that live environment is what makes the show incredibly exciting. The two of us wrote everything together, just the way we are playing tennis, rallying back and forth. It was always important to create songs that really were consistent with the character and let them speak what their heart is. The movie it doesn't give you the opportunity to hear all this, this internal monologue from a character. And so songs give us this great opportunity to delve into the real characters that we all know from the movie, but having an opportunity to give them their close-up on stage which is what we call the song. We knew that the Bobs, if Glenn and I went too far in one direction or another, they would always reel us back in. So we weren't worried. They just said, you guys go to the end and you know we'll tell you if it's too far. It was never too far. It's the power of that piece of material. It can really take a lot of interesting approaches, musically and staging. It's an amazingly well-written story. First of all, the 50s musical personality is completely different from the 80s musical personality. It gave us a real story opportunity to do 80s and 50s music. Hop music in the 50s was a little more naive. It was sweeter. By the time you get to the 80s, uh, it's a little edgier, it's a little more electronic. The most fun thing about it is that we really tried to look at the 80s and the 50s from a 2020 perspective. Don't bet your future. This is truly a once in a lifetime project with amazing human beings. Glenn and I were so well supported by the creators. Everyone approached everything about this musical from the point of view of what's best for the musical. And that's how Bob Zemeckis and Bob Gale were in the making of the movie. They always thought of their audience every step of the way. Every one of these characters is so vivid that it was fun to write for all of them. So as songwriters, it was, it was a dream come true. If you love Back to the Future and you come to see Back to the Future, the musical, you will leave having seen Back to the Future and you will still love it. You gotta get back